Well, this is my second video, and I'm going to give it a shot. I decided to do one of these flooring samples. I'm using Deco Art. The place I get my supplies from is called Pat Catan's. Uh, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, and there's a chain. It doesn't stretch across the United States, but right now they have a sale going three for a dollar. So I was there today and picked up some supplies. My medium I'm using it's Floetrol with Elmer's Glue All. My ratio of paint is two to one, two medium to one paint. So let's get started. I'm going to need one more cup. Make sure you shake it up pretty good. This color is Purple Passion. This is Fun Fuchsia. And here is Tutti Frutti. This is probably enough to do two. My mix here is white with Floetrol. I'm going to lighten up one of my colors, and that's the Tutti Frutti. I'm using an Elmer's Glue All container, and of course it's clogged up. And I just filled it up. Anyway, let's see what we got going here. I guess I need to get my medium. When I run out of float troll, I decided to use this as my mixing medium container. I will transfer it to a coffee creamer container at some point. Definitely more paint than I needed. So I'll probably do a couple of them. Because they always turn out different. No matter what. You could do everything the exact same way and you'll never get the same painting twice. These colors are so pretty. I'm using silicone from the automotive department.
and I happen to put it in a little tattoo ink bottle because I've got plenty of bottles this size. I'm only going to put it in two, one drop each. have a little bit of white until I get this down pat because there's so many people saying how to mix their mediums and the consistency I'm not going to be a professional on this. I'm just going to give suggestions. And it's way too thick. So here comes the water. Distilled. And I'm going by the consistency that Anna Marie has in her videos. She is an awesome lady. Out of all the people on the internet and YouTube, she's the only one that ever responded to my messages. And after being in art for 50 years, I was nine years old when my father gave me my first oil paint set. She's got a heart. They say artists are crazy, and maybe we are, but it's a good thing. We're entertaining other people with our art. Still super thick. Okay, I'm having a hard time talking to myself while I'm recording this video. Every once in a while you might see my little dog walk into the picture. In the first video, she actually looked up at the camera as though she knew there was somebody on the other end. She's my buddy. Her name is Roxy. And I'm fortunate enough that she's not shedding right now. And this is supposed to be spring, but it's not. I was out driving Friday night, and it had actually snowed. I got confident enough in what I've learned to teach my granddaughter. And though she just turned 16 and she's waiting for her 16th, sweet 16 birthday party, she's pretty busy. Okay, we're going to start with just a tiny bit. I'm using a medicine pill bottle to start this with because it's so small. Doggone it, I forgot the silicone. I don't know why I can't remember this. Wait a minute, I did. I'm losing my mind. I did put silicone, I just didn't stir it. Okay. I can't say I actually did have too much of a mind. But I survived. 
The consistency is layering like it's supposed to. I really enjoy doing this. Being a senior citizen, you get instant gratification. Just like tattooing. With tattooing, your art is there permanently until that person isn't around anymore. You get paid for it and you don't have to wait till you pass away and your relatives make money off of your art. It's the same way with this. This is awesome. And I'm addicted. There's a lady out there that said that once you start, you end up with a uh, living room full of art. Well, I've not only got a living room, but I got two bedrooms. This room, which is my laundry room, because I I did not buy a house with a dining room. So I'm kind of stuck here, cramped up. I lightly sanded this floor sample because it was a little too shiny for my own good, I think. Anyway, I'm going to do a flip cut. I'm going to add a little bit of this white around the edge. I don't think I have to add a whole lot because there's a lot of paint. And we're going to see how this goes. There are cells already. That's nice. I think I should have added some green. There would have been more contrast. And it's time for the gloves. I have like five boxes of gloves. I bought in bulk for my tattoo shop and I had five artists working for me and I supplied them with gloves and it cost me about three dollars a box and they were all different size hands okay we're gonna see how this goes I'm not going to use a torch. Because I left my lighter in the other room. I think I'm really going to like these little samples. You're so cute. I don't know if you just heard, but my heater just went on. It's freezing outside, so I guess that's going to happen until spring actually wants to arrive. Well, doesn't look too bad. I've gotten some nice cells. I don't want to stretch them too far. I 
wasn't crazy about how that white took over that. Looks good so far. Things are happening. I have a mini stick torch. But I have to have a lighter to get it going. Definitely looks interesting. Can't say it's one of my better ones, but I do like it. Now the blower just kicked in. Okay, let me try another one. When I'm bored and I'm sitting around, I pick paint off of plastic cups. Sounds like fun, huh? I'm gonna use my same little uh, cup, pill bottle. Maybe I need to get that a little more out of the way. This time, I'm not gonna add white to it. I wish I had made some green. None of this is tattoo ink. I'll try I'll show you that one day. Now I do have some black that's pre-made in my little portable water bottle. And I'm just gonna add a smidgen. If you're from the south, you know what a smidgen is. This time I'm going to do the one, two on it. Since it's so small, I won't do three. And we'll try this again. I love my coffee. I'm I'm with Anna Marie. I have to have your coffee. If you wonder what this is, this is a color chart. Color wheel. I just do that because sometimes I get so overwhelmed with thoughts that I have to come back to see the corresponding colors and stuff. So, but I, it's just a little one. Okay, here we go. Now this is gonna be different because there was black put in there. Cells are popping up. Not as many as if I had, I had the heat gun. Or the mini torch. But I don't want to get up and walk into the other room.
and I left the TV set on, so that's what's in the background. So, I'm sorry about that. And one more side. Let's come down and see what we've got. Oh, some interesting things are happening on the home front. Oh, I'm going to like this one. I'm losing some of my cells. But I like the contrast of the black. I wonder if blowing on it will help. Well, I don't think that did any good, but I definitely like this one better than the one with the white. It makes me think that the canvas is creeping through. Anyway, I'll come back and show you the final outcome of these two and see if the paint stuck. And... I'll be right back with you.